of Israel in this season of God's grace everything that was not settled it receives settlement in the name of Jesus I decree and declare from this miracle Monday service yes. and common results that will exceed your expectation in the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord says there shall be results. Yes. Some of you have gone through insults, but God will turn your insults to results. Yes. Raze Magadeshka. I command results in your finances in the name of Jesus. And common results in your career. And common results in your destiny. And common results in your relationships. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Shama Gadeshka Ragadoshka. Whatever look like failure in your life, oh, yes. I declare uncommon results. Amen. I, I decree and declare oh, yes. in your going out, you will be blessed with results. Amen. Your labor will be blessed with results. Amen. Your pursuits will be blessed with results. Your children will be blessed with results. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Shama Kadoska Ragadeshka. Lise Magadeshka Ragadoska. From tonight, I declare whatever had subjected your life to a life of struggle to a life of hardship to a life of dryness by the power of god's grace i declare it is destroyed in the name of jesus and from tonight your story is changing i declare from this miracle monday service your story is changing i declare tonight is the beginning of a turnaround open your mouth and declare it the beginning of a turnaround the beginning of a turnaround things are about to turn around your life is about to turn around impossibilities are being turned to possibilities there is a turn around 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 i stand as god's oracle tonight i break the limits in your life i break the limits in your family i break the restrictions in your life in the name of Jesus I break the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus I interrupt every manifestation of the powers of darkness in your life and in your family I break the chains I break the yokes in the name of Jesus as God's oracle I stand in this arena of miracles on the altar of miracle Monday I take authority over every principality every demon every wickedness in high places i command it catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire i declare from this service the lord will contend with those who are contending against us those that are contending against you i declare god will contend against them in the name of jesus I bind every spirit of anxiety. I bind every spirit of depression. I bind every spirit of weariness. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of oppression, I bind you and I cast you out. You spirit of stress, you spirit of bitterness, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Somebody say out three times. Out! Oh, oh. In the name I come against every spirit behind anxiety. I come against that spirit that is behind stress and bitterness in your life. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim liberty in this atmosphere. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Any demonic power that is mandated to destroy your destiny, as God's oracle, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer point. Any demonic power mandated to destroy your destiny, mandated to destroy your family, mandated to destroy your calling, any demonic power mandated to destroy this ministry, catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Every evil power mandated to destroy God's people, be destroyed! In the name of Jesus, Shama Katoska Ragadeshka, Lamazo Magadeshka, Ragadoska Ragadeshka.
to catch fire in the name of Jesus. As you are stretching your hands, every evil power that has been mandated to destroy your life, I declare tonight it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every secret enemy that has vowed to frustrate your life, I command them catch fire. Catch fire. Scatter by fire. I declare you and your family, you are delivered from every evil attack. In the name of Jesus, I declare afflictions will be far from you. From tonight, in the name of Jesus, afflictions will be far from you and your family. In the name of Jesus, as you are stretching your hands, I declare the word of the Lord. According to Isaiah 54, 15, Indeed, they shall surely gather, but not because of me. And the Bible says, whoever gathers against you shall fall for your sake. I stand as an oracle. I declare every gathering that is not of God, that is against you, against your career, against your progress, against your business, scatter by fire. As you are stretching your hands, I declare every gathering that is not of God. I declare it will scatter by fire. Whether they gather in the earth, whether they gather in the phone, whether they gather in the sea, scatter by fire. Any evil gathering against your life, I overturn their conference table. I overturn their conference table. Any conspiracy against your life, I turn it to your divine liftment. I turn it to your divine lifting. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare tonight a divine turn around, a divine turn around, a divine turn around in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Shout Amen. Amen. I want to speak on a message I have entitled uh, When Grace Speaks. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor when grace speaks. And I begin by telling you what grace is not before I read these scriptures and then now tell you what grace is. What grace is not. Grace is not the license to sin or the excuse to sin. But grace is simply the power to overcome sin. In our generation, sometimes we misunderstand the subject of grace to mean as grace being a license to sin. But grace is not a license or an excuse to sin, but the power to overcome sin. Also, grace is not a license to become lazy. Tell your neighbor, grace is not a license to become lazy. And also, grace is not an encouragement to settle for mediocrity. Hallelujah. Also, grace is not cheap. You also need to know that. Tell your neighbor, grace is not cheap. And also, grace, also you need to understand it comes uh, from a God that is full of grace. So now, I want to look, I don't want to begin with what grace is not, but I was just mentioning it for the sake of those of you that are here. But let's see first what grace is. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10. By the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace towards me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. Let's see this before I begin to preach. Uh -huh. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. We are saved by grace. We are going to heaven by grace. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to verse 10. Magadeshka, Ragadowski. Uh -huh. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Verse 9. Not of works, lest anyone should boast. Father, we bless the reading of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, shout amen. As I was deep in prayer, the Lord gave me this message on when grace speaks. Grace number one is, uh, is the unmerited goodness of God. Grace is divine enablement. Grace is when divinity steps on humanity and causes ordinary 
ordinary men, ordinary women to do extraordinary things. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. Grace, my God, is heaven helping you. I want to speak on the grace of God. I love what the Apostle Paul said. I am what I am by the grace of God. What you need in this life and what you need to reach your destiny is the grace of God. I want you to know you cannot make it by yourself. Your gifting is not enough. You know, I have met people that are gifted yet stranded. You can be gifted yet stranded. And people less gifted, less skilled, less intelligent than you are more celebrated. What is the difference? The grace of God. Tell your neighbor, you need the grace of God. Listen to me. I know you can pray, but you need the grace of God. I know you can fast, but you need the grace of God. I know you are educated, but you need the grace of God. I know you are connected and you know people, but you need the grace of God. I know that, I know that you have been reading your Bible, but you need the grace. And I am praying that as I begin this series of the grace of God, grace will begin to speak for you. I declare grace will begin to speak for you because when grace begins to speak for you protocols are suspended if you don't believe me ask queen esther an orphan girl becomes a queen when grace speaks protocols are suspended if you don't believe me ask joseph a prisoner became a prime minister ah when grace speaks i say protocols are suspended if you don't believe me ask David, a shepherd boy becomes a king. When grace speaks, protocols are suspended. If you don't believe me, ask Moses. A stammerer becomes a deliverer. When grace speaks, academic qualifications cannot stop you. If you don't believe me, ask the apostle Peter. Academic credentials could not stop him. When grace speaks, power becomes silent. When grace speaks, Hey, somebody say when grace speaks. Turn to your neighbor, tell them when grace speaks. You begin to go where you could not go by yourself. You begin to go where your academic qualifications could not take you. Where your brothers and sisters did not go. You begin to go, my God, I pray for somebody. I prophesy, can I prophesy? I stand on the arena of Miracle Monday. I release grace for the next level. Grace for the next level. I release grace over your career. To every man and woman that is in employment. I declare no more stagnation. By the grace of God you will encounter progress. You will go to the next level. In the name of Jesus. To every man and woman in ministry. Receive grace for ministry. Touch three people. Tell them grace for ministry. Yeah, receive grace for ministry. I declare in ministry, you will be a trailblazer. You will be a pace setter. You will be a barrier breaker. Receive grace for ministry. In the name of Jesus, to every businessman in this auditorium, and even to those that are watching me, I release grace for business. I said receive grace for business. Where others cannot see opportunities, by the grace of God, you will be able to see the opportunities. Where others have failed, you will succeed by the grace of God. Where others get nothing, you will get gold because of the grace. Give two people a high five. Tell them grace for business. Grace for business. Nehemiah Kufanya Biashara. Don't do business without the grace of God. Don't preach without the grace of God. Don't do ministry without the grace of God. Don't walk without the grace of God. Ah, you need the grace of God. Labor without grace is struggle. Touch your neighbor and help me preach. Tell them labor without grace is struggle. It is grace that, pro that produces fruitfulness. It is grace that produces results. I decree and declare, receive grace for the next level. In the name of Jesus. I declare grace for finances. In the remaining two months of this year, receive grace for finances. I declare money will know your 
name and address every financial hindrance every financial setback catch fire I declare by the grace of God all your investments will bear fruit in the name of Jesus money will know your name and address you will not work for money money will work for you hey touch two people tell them grace for money grace for money grace for money every spirit of financial dryness every spirit of financial lack every spirit of financial debt I stand on this arena of miracles I command it catch fire catch fire catch fire you will not struggle to make money you will not struggle to make profit grace for money grace for money grace for money grace for money receive in the name of jesus receive. may god bless you in all the major currencies i declare in dollars in euros in pounds in runs in pula in dirhams receive grace for money I receive. receive grace for money I receive. receive the power to prosper I receive. by the grace of god say my name i kupata pesa name i kupata pesa kusa jirani yako mwambie nakataa kungangana nakataa kuhangaika napokea neema ya pesa in the name of jesus i also hear the lord say there is a grace for divine health in the remaining days of this year your resources will not be wasted in medical bills your money will not be spent on health ah receive grace for health you will walk in divine health in the name of jesus i lay my hands on you in the realm of the spirit and over every family that is represented here any sickness in your body any sickness in your family we command it catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire any sickness that has resisted medication i declare the blood of jesus is against it in the name of jesus i stand as god's oracle i cancel every negative clinical report every negative clinical report i cancel it by the grace of god receive grace for divine health ah salami amtu mwambie neema ya afya njema neema ya afya njema neema ya afya njema what is killing others will not kill you i said what is killing others it will not kill you you will not die of cancer you will not die of heart attack you will not die of sickness back to the sender back to the sender back to the sender the devil is a liar receive the grace to enjoy divine health in the name of jesus shama kadoska magadeshka rigadoska magadeshka before 31st of december midnight there are people here that will have traveled internationally and i stand as god's oracle hey guza jirani yako mwambie kabla ya 31st saa 6 usiku usiku hey mwambie jirani Mungu atakuwa ametenda miujiza. Mungu atakuwa ametenda miujiza. And I saw in the spirit they are international doors that God is opening for somebody. And some of you nobody in your family has ever gone internationally. But I heard the Lord say you will be the first. You will be the first. You will be the first. You will go to Tanzania. You will go to Uganda. You will go to South Africa. You will go to Burundi. You will go to Congo. You will go to Nigeria. You will go to Mauritius. You will go to France. You will go to Amsterdam. You will go to Austria. You will go to Australia. I release the anointing of nations. The grace for nations. The Bible says you will ask me for the nations and I will give you nations as your inheritance. Pokea hiyo neema. Salamia watu watatu waambie pokea neema ya mataifa. Receive the grace for nations. Receive the grace for nations. Some of you will go internationally for business. Ah, imports and exports. Shine 
Ghana, Dubai, Turkey, Thailand, Ragatowski, receive the grace for international doors. The God that has taken me in over 50 nations around the world, continents, countries, and nations, and cities, I release the same grace. May international doors for business, international doors in your, in your workplace, you will be preferred amongst your competitors. That door shall be open. I see doors opening for tours. Receive in the name of Jesus. Ah, somebody move and declare. Name I am a taifa. Sema imi guita kanyaga mataifa. Imi guita kanyaga mataifa. Name I am a taifa. They are anointing for nations. They are anointing the grace for nations. I receive it in the name of Jesus. You will go where others have not gone in your family. In the name of Jesus, I see grace for nations. Some of you will get employment internationally. Some of you will go to preach internationally. Receive in the name of Jesus. Then as I was in prayer this week, the Lord told me there is another grace. And I had the grace of settlement. Everything that was unsettled. Everything that was unsettled in your life. Some of you, your careers were unsettled. Your business was unsettled. Your finances were unsettled. Your plans were unsettled. Your relationships were unsettled. But that say yet the Lord God of Israel, in this season of God's grace, everything that was not settled, it receives settlement in the name of Jesus. Receive settlement in your career. Receive settlement in your business. Receive settlement in your career receive settlement in your calling receive settlement in your finances even those that are trusting God for marital settlement I declare between now and next year this time receive your marital settlement in the name of Jesus uh, somebody say Lord settle me Lord, say Lord, Lord, by your grace, by your grace, say to me, say to me, say to me, say to me. I heard the Lord say, You are moving from struggle to settlement. From struggle to settlement, I declare every area of your life every aspect of your life from tonight in the name of Jesus it is receiving settlement and I hear the Lord say it won't take long touch two people tell them it won't take long hey, that settlement will not take long that breakthrough will not take long that open door will not take long that job will not take long hey. right now I release your breakthrough I release your open door I release a high paying job by the grace of God. Touch three people, tell them the grace of God. The grace of God. Come on, touch your neighbor, tell them before midnight. Before midnight. 31st of December. 31st of December. Hey, you will testify. You will testify. There will be a turnaround. There will be a turnaround. I hear the Lord say after this service, where you sent your apply, where you sent your application. And they say, no, they are about to call you and say yes. Hey. Hey. When grace speaks, tell your neighbor when grace speaks. When grace speaks. Somebody say when grace speaks. When grace speaks. Protocols are suspended. Yani protocols in a manisha utaratibu. Ninatangaza katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Kila utaratibu inaenda kusambaratishwa. Yes. God will break protocols for you to be promoted. For you to be employed. For you to get that tender and that contract. Grace will speak for you. Somebody say Lord. Lord. Lift your hand and say Lord. Lord. Let your grace. Let your grace. Speak for me. Speak for me. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as you are lifting your hands above your head shakadoska magadesh karagados the lord told me grace is about to speak for you hey, because of grace that say yet the lord god of israel the struggle is over the struggle is over somebody right now is in the middle of the fire but grace will bring you out thus say yet the lord god of israel 
because of grace yes. the struggle is over hey, see. and to that somebody that is right in the middle of the fire yes. i say by the grace of god you are coming out of that fire Amen. your family is coming out of that fire in the name of jesus Stirring the hearts of your helpers to help you. Anyone that God has assigned as a destiny helper in your life, God is going to stir the heart of your helpers to help you. When men are looking for someone to bless, your name will be selected. I said when men and women are looking for someone to bless, your name will be preferred above your competitors. When people are looking for someone to promote, your name will be selected. It will be preferred above your competitors. When they are looking for someone to favor, someone to give a tender, someone to give a contract, I declare your name shall be selected because of the grace, the undeserved goodness of God, the unmerited goodness of God. I declare your name will be selected. Shalabaka doska magadeshka. I declare as you're stretching your hands, the counsel of the Lord concerning you shall stand. I declare the glory of God is upon you and no weapon fashioned against you and your family shall prosper. I hide you under the blood. I hide you under the canopy of God's grace where the enemy cannot see you. In the name of Jesus, I declare you will prosper. You are more than a conqueror. In the name of Jesus. When I say in the name of Jesus, say amen. Your amen means so shall it be. Your amen is not an encouragement to the preacher. It is an acceptance of a divine verdict. Hallelujah. So when I say in the name of Jesus, I want you to say amen. I say the Lord will honor you. Amen. The Lord will honor you. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. You are more than a conqueror. I declare you will make it and succeed in the name of Jesus. I release the grace of God over you. I release the grace of God over your children. I release the blessing of God over you. You will not weep. You will not cry. In the name of Jesus. Shamaka doska magadeshka. Father, bless your people. May you are going out and you are coming in be preserved. I declare you are blessed. I speak peace within your walls. I declare this week, the remaining days of the month of October, Ragadoska, it will be a sweat-free week. The remaining days of this year, they will be sweat-free week in the name of Jesus. Everything will work for you without struggle. Everything will work for you without struggle. I declare this week before the end of October. Can I prophesy? Stretch your hands. I prophesy. Before the end of October, your ears will hear only good news. No evil news will come to your ears. Somebody touch your ear say, I declare. I declare. My ears will hear good news. My ears will hear good news. No evil news. No evil news. Will come to my ears. Will come to my ears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say this week. This week. I will see opportunity in adversity. I will see opportunity in adversity. In, ad in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands. Ragadoshka, ragadoshka. When others are stranded, I declare because of grace. You shall know what to do in the name of Jesus. Shamaka doska lagadoshka. I release supernatural settlement by the grace of God. Your unsettled career is settled tonight. Your unsettled business is settled tonight. Your unsettled children are settled tonight. This week marks the beginning of testimonies of settlement. The plan of the wicked against your advancement shall fail. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shabaka Doska. The windows of heaven shall be open over you and your family. This will be your season of showers of blessing. You will not suffer setback. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be a subject of pity among people. You will continue to be an envy of God's glory. In the name of Jesus. Let grace speak for you. 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 Let grace speak for us. Father, let your grace speak for us. In Jesus' name, give the Lord a shout. Yes. 
God is lifting you to higher heights. He's touching your life. God is introducing you. There are people who don't believe in you. But because the grace of God has come in your life, something new has been birthed. If you're watching me in the diaspora, in America, in South America, in the Middle East, in Australia, in Asia, in China, wherever you're watching me from, distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit. And also, if you would like to sow your seed of saying, I want to sow my seed into this anointing, also feel free. Uh, the details are on your screen. The person number is 0710842121. And also, the paper link is on your screen. If you've not given given your life to Christ. The greatest of all miracles is the miracle of salvation. And everybody that is here that wants to rededicate or to pray this prayer of receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior, can we all pray together before we sign off online? Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, am I am a sinner. I receive you today to be my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you for your gift. The gift of your son. The gift of grace. From today, I am born again. My sins are washed away. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Remember.